What are OKRs? Our industry is constantly changing. To succeed, we all need to pull in the same direction. Fortunately, there's a framework that lets us align our efforts, even when priorities shift. It's called Objectives and Key Results, otherwise known as OKRs. What are OKRs? Let's take a look. The objectives in OKRs are descriptions of what we want to achieve. They're qualitative, ambitious and actionable. Key results are the things that will help us achieve our objective. They're measurable and specific, but they're not just a to-do list of all the tasks that need to be done. As you can see, a well-written OKR creates a compelling target and a specific, measurable path to get there. But with so many teams and initiatives, how do OKRs help keep us all marching in the same direction, focused on our top priorities? It's all in the cascade. This starts at the corporate level, but the path between you and our corporate goals depends on where you sit in the organization. Think back to what you know about the structure of an agile organization. There are tribes, centers of excellence, COEs, and other teams that don't fall into either of these groups. Let's look at each scenario. If you're a member of a tribe, the cascade goes from corporate objectives to your tribe, down to your squad, and then you create individual OKRs that show how you're going to support your squad's OKRs. It's a little different if you're in a COE. Some COE members work with several different squads within a tribe at the same time. In that case, you create OKRs that support the tribe OKRs. If you're not a member of a tribe or a COE, the cascade of OKRs is a bit more traditional. According to best practices, it would go from corporate objectives to your function, your team to you. Like most agile practices, this framework is not rigid. So depending on your role, it might make sense for you to have OKRs that align to a tribe as well as your function, and that's okay. But no matter where you sit, OKRs should be transparent, so everyone in a tribe or department knows what everyone else is working on. This also promotes accountability. So how often will we set OKRs? They should be set each quarter. This is what helps us adapt and stay aligned throughout the year. But that's not all. There are a few more things we should all be doing every quarter. Be sure to enter or update your individual OKRs in the Oracle HCM goal system for the upcoming quarter. Ask for feedback. Feedback from the people you work with most, like squad members, peers and direct reports, will help you grow and develop. The 180 feedback tool in HCM makes collecting feedback easy. Have a conversation with your manager about how you're doing and what support you need to grow. Here's a hint. Use the feedback you receive and your OKR progress to guide this conversation. OKRs are a best practice that organizations like ING Bank, Oracle and Google have successfully implemented as well. Adoption of this approach is just one of the ways that we're working to drive better strategic alignment and transparency across DTCC.